Welcome back to Talking Pop Culture. This is a special edition. Uh, a subscriber, CK Steven, wrote in the comment section if I could do a top five on my action figures. He's a fan of the top five videos. So, hey, this is a community where it's about all of us, not just me or Mark. So, of course, I'm going to do the video. And, hey, if there's other videos you guys want us to talk about or do, let us know in the comment section, please. Because this is, like I said, I want everyone to get involved in this. It's not just about me or Mark creating content. I want to know what you guys want and we'll do videos on that and get everyone talking and in on the discussion. But before we do, if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy the video, give it the thumbs up. I'm not too sure if we hit the 300 subscriber because we're at 288 right now when I've recorded this video. So if we've hit the 300, thank you everyone. We'll work on the uh, giveaway. We'll do a live feed for that. If we haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. Give it the thumbs up. Giving away some comics or an Amazon gift card depending where you are in the world. Now, before I get into the, the toys, that's, yes, as you can see, my collection behind me, it was actually a lot bigger than what it was. When my partner recently moved in a couple of months ago, I had to make some room for her stuff. So I packed up my toys and I packed up at least just over 200 action figures and probably around 120, 130 pops. That is no lie. If you go to my earlier videos, you will see, like I'm talking my very first videos on the channel, you will see my collection. And that was even, you know, cut down. So it's all boxed up so I can get her stuff in here and obviously stop looking like a toy shop in a man cave <laughs> or a kid's cave, you would call it, not a man cave with little toys. But yeah, so it's all boxed up. The ones that I boxed up were ones that weren't really worth value. Uh, some of them I liked, but I'd rather have the valued ones here in my eyesight than locked away in a garage somewhere. So these are going to be my top, <coughs> pardon me, I'll do my top five action figures and then I'll do my top five pops um, because obviously I've got a lot of pops too. So action figures, let's start off. Now I don't know how that's going to go off the light, but we have Zoom from The Flash. Uh, this, you know, I love the character on The Flash. After he, after this, you know, part of the series it kind of went downhill. But the flash there is, we'll say number five. I'll do them in order all the way to number one. But then at the end, I've got a special one that I want to show that isn't in my top five because, you know, I'll show you. All right. So at number four, I've got my Joker from Greg Capallo's and uh, Snyder's run of um, Batman, which I just love. Look at that. Look at that mask. I love that. Look at that face. Like, he just looks so good. It was an amazing run. The comic was absolutely awesome. Um, okay, and now we've got Deathstroke from the, I believe this is the Judas, the Judas contract. Now, you know, I'm a massive fan of Deathstroke. I have a lot of Deathstroke toys. Okay. Um, here we go. <laughs> Number two, <clears throat> Red Hood. This is the GameStop, whoop, this is the GameStop special edition. Uh, so in Australia, we have EB Games. It's not called GameStop and only one was put into every store. I think there's only like 80 stores. So there was only 80, 80 of these in Australia. Uh, but yeah, it's the game, as you can see down there, it's got the, the GameStop exclusive right there. But yeah, the Red Hood from the game Arkham Knight. Man, I just love the look of that. Love it, love it. And then my favorite one, I just, probably the best looking Deathstroke as well, is Deathstroke from Arrow. Like, Manu Bedit done an amazing job, but I love, it is hands down probably the greatest Deathstroke outfit. I feel, I feel, I know other people have other opinions and that's cool, but as a massive Deathstroke fan, man, I absolutely love the look of it. I'm spewing this came out after Manu Bennett came to one of the comic con I would love for him to sign it because I do have, um, I can actually grab it because it's right here. I do have one signed by uh, Malcolm Merlin and I did have one signed, sorry, did have one signed by the actor that played Deadshot. Now, believe it or not, he actually filled me in that the Legends of Tomorrow was actually meant to be a Suicide Squad show, but it got axed because of the film, and that's why they gave us Legends of Tomorrow. Now, my top five pops. And number five, we got the zombie Batman. Now, this is the 80th anniversary, uh, is it 80 years anniversary? Yeah, the 80 year anniversary pops. I've got the full set. I collected all of these ones. Uh, but yeah, that's I love the zombie Batman. And then we've got the Joker from New York Comic Con, I think 2016, was it? Yeah, New York Comic Con Limited Edition 2016 from um, The Killing Joke. Again, love the look of this Joker. It's probably my favorite look of the Joker. It's just, I don't know, it's just like all dressed up like he's going to Hawaii or something. But yeah, that there is number four. Number three. My all-time favorite basketball player. I am a massive basketball fan. My boy, the answer, Alan Iverson. 
absolutely love when when like they've been releasing all these NBA pops and I'm like just release an Allen Iverson please just give me an Allen Iverson straight on pre-order bang there it is number two of course Deathstroke's got to be in the countdown mate number two I love this Deathstroke look at that what is it it's it's a special edition doesn't say what it it's from but man again that is just I love the color details on that as well absolutely love that Deathstroke and then my number one, which I had to do two of them because I couldn't pick, is my boy, my favorite, favorite music artist of all time. Whoop, wrong way. Tupac. Tupac Shakur. So you got that one, the special edition. And then you've got the other one there, which I just, man, I'm a massive Tupac fan. Absolutely love, love, love him. Um, I have got the newer one on pre-order, which comes out in a couple of months. But there you go. That's all the pops. That's all the action figures. Now, the one that I wanted to show you was this big of a beast. Like, it's heavy. It is. Look at this. Look, this is a boost. It's the dark side with Grail. Man, like, I love this one. It's not like in my top five. It'd be sixth, but, like, I just... Look at it. Look at the size of that thing. This is a massive... I'm never going to take these ones out of the box, but yeah, I love, you know, Dark Side's, you know, one of my favorite villains as well with, um, with DC, so there you have it. That's my action figures, my top five action figures, my top five pops. Have you guys got a favorite action figure, uh, favorite pop? Let me know in the comment section below, and I will, I'll honestly Google it up, have a look at it, check it out, and I'll also give you my opinion on it. But yeah, if we haven't, like I said, if we haven't hit the 300 subscribers, hit the subscribe button, Let's do this giveaway. I want to give out some comics. I want to give out a gift card. Whatever it is that you guys want, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. And like always, please take care. Not just yourself, but others. Peace.